I would like to add that 70% to 80% of the normal traffic at this port is military material, much of it destined for Ukraine. Today we are going to bring you a piece of exclusive intelligence that we have received from our supporters within the CCP. The information is very precise. This attack is being carried out by the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, using remote towing technology. It is a terrorist attack. The CCP has launched a terrorist operation against the United States on American soil. The impact is huge on the traffic and transportation of the entire United States. The local governor says it has an impact on the whole world, which is not an exaggeration at all. Also, the bad news is that if the CCP can tow a freighter to collapse Baltimore's bridge, they can do the same with any car, ship, elevator, any vehicle you can think of. As long as it has a connection to signal and data, a chip, an antenna, a radio, etc. Because Miles Guo once told me in the past that once Liu Yanping, the former vice minister of public security of the CCP, threatened him and said that they can crash any plane they want at any time. Don't think that if you don't bring your phone, you'll be okay. The CCP can crash anything as long as your device has something to receive the signal. Like the radios in cars or planes. So again, I want to emphasize that the two pieces of exclusive intelligence are that it's the CCP that launched the terrorist attack on Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge using the remote towing technology on the freighter. The second information is that there are people in the U.S. government who knew about it but didn't report it, although we can't confirm whether they knew about it before or after the attack. But so far we have not seen any official statement confirming this information.